What is up funky people? I'm Iteration Funk and today we're back in Animanica 2 Expert Mode. And since last episode I hooked up my last compact uh, machine. So this compact machine will just be responsible for housing all of these interfaces. I have one, two, three P2Ps here that kinda just bring over a bunch of channels and then I have six of these uh, crafting cubes that can fit recipes. So, you know, this is gonna be great. I don't have to worry about it uh, anymore, I think. These should kinda last us the rest of the playthrough, I think. I also updated the pack so we have some nice quality of life stuff, like the quest book was updated. I'm not sure what this, this does, but I think this will kind of deal with rewards somehow. But yeah, it doesn't really glitch out anymore when you claim rewards. I don't have an example to show you, but maybe I could make like a basic capacitor bank just to kind of give that, take that for a quick spin. So basic, now we can actually press these and it updated when we went back, so that's good. More food, yay. Kinda need, need it now though. And finally I did actually... Yeah, one more thing that kinda got changed in the update was that we now have... We now have a Mechanica instead of Mechanism. And Mechanica is a fork uh, that is actively maintained. I don't think Mechanism received a lot of updates lately. Uh, anyways, it still kind of bugs out with some of these crafts, but at least we can craft basic energy cubes, advanced energy cubes, basic induction providers, and basic induction cells uh, in our system without that bugging. But everything uh, like the higher tiers of the energy cubes, uh, the induction cells, and the induction providers kind of bug out. So I saw those over here. So this is still doing the Lapatron since that really doesn't work. Uh, this guy is doing the ultimate and the elite energy cube. Then we have one tier two crafter for induction providers. And then we have one for induction cells. So I kind of did that off camera because I think I would probably have killed people out of boredom if I tried to set that up one more episode. So those are kind of solved. So we're gonna need two of these and then uh, one of these. So that's gonna take a while because that's a lot of you know, little micro steps. And one thing I really, like this is huge for me, the kind of fixed, I'm not sure if it was compact machines or thermal expansion that fixed this bug, but they don't have missing textures in compact machines anymore. So I don't have to cringe every time I go in here. So for example, this uh, compact machine looks a lot nicer now. You know, there was a lot of thermal machines here and... Yeah, I just like how machines look when they aren't like purple and black. Let's go out and start doing some stuff. So I didn't really cover why we're working on the creative power cell last episode. It's not like I want or need more power. But we need to create this to actually make the creative vending upgrade, uh, vending upgrades because we get two. Uh, so we need to do this. I'm not gonna use it, or I'm not gonna make two of them. We just want one because after that we don't really need power. We have a good amount of power, and nothing has really put a dent in that yet. This creative gas tank, I think, is. Uh, kinda tricky because we need creative gas tank frames so I don't think we can solve that with our creative fluid tank you know maybe we can uh, do a couple of fluids if we can turn them into gas form with the decon uh, let's, I'm gonna have to check that because I can't remember what what it's actually called this one, the Rotary Condensentrator, we can turn liquids into gas and gas into liquids. So I could probably uh, like 
solve a couple of these that have a liquid counterpart, but I don't think every every gas has that, so it might be tricky. But we're gonna continue on making this guy, and I kind of solved the induction providers. I think we're gonna move over to the rainbow generator. Uh, the solar arrays will take some time to automate, but at least now we have all of the space we could ever need in our assemblers. You can see there's a lot of rows before we come down to the stuff we've already kind of done. So I, I haven't really looked at this, but we're gonna start with the opinion cores, and then we're gonna move over to uh, the flux capacitor, I think. So we're gonna start like way down here. Maybe even Opinium, because we're going to need all of these, so I'll just kind of mark them. And ah, this kind of overlaps now. That's not too nice. We're going to switch over to this. And can just kind of do this. And this is, this is really easy, so I don't mind it. Now we're gonna need to automate chorus fruit maybe because it seems like we need a lot of chorus fruit. I'm not sure. I don't even. I don't even think I have uh, chorus uh, flowers. So let's see. We're up to a uh, good. So the next one would be damn good. And then after damn good we have amazing. Oh wow! We actually need elytras. Oh, this is going to be expensive, I think. Inspiring. Maybe we didn't need this high. Wait, I'm going to have to recheck this. We needed... Oh, we only needed good. So, that's that's great because after that they look kind of expensive. So, up to good. Good. Put this in here. And could actually fit up here, I think. So good, we're missing, you can't make diamond blocks, I have to kind of teach you that then, uh, diamond block, weird that we don't have that to be honest, I put you here, and then I think we need to solve the chorus situation, and oh I haven't done red coal, that's quite interesting, I think that needs to go into this resonator. Red coal, uh, yeah, so we can teach that real quick. We just need to go back here. Switch this to processing and what? What? Coal doesn't have a texture. And uh, let's just do that, I guess. That's so weird. Let's put you in here. And order up some red coal. We're probably gonna need a lot, so we're just gonna start you. Grid is overloaded. Is it though? Wait. Let's go over to to our setup for singularities and kind of kick it back a notch. Oh yeah, the, I can't even fly because the Read is overloaded, why do I try? Uh, 10. Huh. What's uh, draining so much power? Because I'm not using a ton of transfer nodes on the system, I think. And. Huh. Is it that red coal is so expensive or something? Oh yeah, kind of is. Let's go down to... Wow. That's one expensive operation. What was the creative... Uh, creative mill? Hmm. Oh, we need the amazing opinion course for that and the site, so I don't see us doing that. We're just gonna have to wait for this guy. You can always do this, get some more. Yeah, let that work a bit. And I have chorus, 
chorus uh, opt chorus and you can turn that into chorus flowers with a alchemy catalyst and I do have one of those head over here and I'm just gonna switch you for a sec or wait ha huh. we could do this a little bit differently let me see where is the network like if I did another pool like mana pool do I have diluted Maybe we can use one of these. Diluted does not sound good. But it's probably as a decorational thing, right? So a spark. And your field. That's great. Chorus. Put this away. Chorus. Uh, popped chorus fruit, I think it was. Just gonna drop a couple. Ah, wait. Oh, your buffer size is way smaller. That's not gonna work out for us. So let's make a mana pool that can actually fit something. Light gray block of that. Don't I have rock crystals? You have to manually put that in. And... Yeah, you shouldn't gain mana as quickly now but if I take out my wand yeah you're gaining at least so now we could do that okay we can automate this uh hmm how do we get popped chorus fruit okay so we could automate chorus fruit and then have it automated in the smeltery to make the pop chorus and then finally, like an interface and an open crate here to kind of finalize the chorus flowers. I think that could work. I'm probably missing something. Something that's a bit easier. I mean, we get... We have a pretty good chance of getting a extra here, I think. We're gonna go stick this in a uh, phytogenic and see how that works out for us down to farming area and I guess we can stick you here next to this guy huh. I mean if we just let if we just let that run and actually give uh, hmm if we switch this over to orange it should be able to pull the output down to the crafter as well but we don't even want this to go to a crafter though right or do we want that? Hmm. I think we're gonna move over this to like another phytogenic. Uh, so you could sit in here maybe? What if we gave you uh, this and you need fertilizer as well. So I'm gonna move you I think. Just to here. And <laughs> let's grab a conduit to extract, insert, and yeah, there we go. Took a while. And then you'll get water as well. I'm not sure why I had that set up for. But can you auto input maybe? Is that gonna work? Doesn't seem to work. Then I don't need this. So, I give you some water. You should be operational again. Okay, let's start by actually exporting the chorus fruit to one side. I'm gonna need an ender chest. Like as so. And your auto output. And we might want to self-feed you with these. So if I do in out up here, I could probably put you on self-feed too. So that works. I'm just wondering what, what it's going to do with the like extra coarse flowers when you are full. 
because it's a pretty high chance that you proc and make more chorus flowers. You're full. Extract on green. Could also export. Let's see, can I set the priority of the insert to one maybe? That should work. Then I could move over here and say insert minus one. And it should bring over the extra chorus flowers. But since this is higher priority, it should self feed uh, the seeds before it actually exports those to the network. So I might not even need to <laughs> do anything with this because we're just gonna get chorus flowers. I might not need the mana infusion recipe. Gonna be good, I think. Let's get rid of all of these cores up here. And can I order up four good? Oh wow, that's a lot of red coal. Uh, but we only need four chorus flowers. So not a lot. It's gonna let this run for a bit and then I'll try and remember and come back and turn it off. Because I don't need chorus for anything else. Okay, so what's the next step in our master plan? We're gonna need two of these. Uh, I might want to set this up because we're gonna need uh, one more carpenter to make these draconic energy cores. Uh, energy core. Can we make the first energy core with our system? Uh, yes, we can do that at least. So I'm just gonna have to deal with one carpenter. And we do have a few. And I think we're gonna set up another black hole tank. So I'm just gonna snag some of your primal mana then we'll head over here and you're gonna be plopped down here we're gonna want a black hole tank down here we need uh, the creative flu tank and we're gonna fill that with primal mana i forgot i can't do that I'm gonna clear it first there we go then lasers laser wrench Two fluid lasers and a compass. Perfect. So this should be kind of easy to set up. We just need to link that up and then from adjacent blocks. There we go. So you're filled with primal mana. You will never be able to. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna last, I think. So one piece of this here. Extract. Insert, we'll put an interface on you and then we'll go set up the recipe, I think. So, like this. Point you down. Fill with primal mana, perfect. And let's see. So we need these. Switch it to processing, I guess. And, oh yeah. So it's four four wyvern energy cores then it's draconic ingots four i think and that's it yeah so let's go over here you're gonna get that one and we'll order up draconic energy cores uh aren't they called draconic energy core how many? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this takes one channel. That's not good. I think you don't have a channel. Because we're kind of nine channels down here. So how, how am I to solve that in a good manner? Hmm. Okay, so I think I have a solution. Let's see. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, I think this might be broken now that I went over to the newest version. Because these liquids... Huh, that's interesting. I'm not sure how I'll deal with that. At least this is liquid oxygen. And what happens if I clear this? You're still getting liquid oxygen, that's good. Uh, but I kind of want to use a pipette on you to get something out, so I can like... Uh, okay, that, that won't work. Let's just do this and maybe we can get that out of you. Uh, 
Oh, come on, carry on. So we'll clear you and export the liquid oxygen. Uh, maybe you can't actually do that. What if we did this instead? So I'll put you down here. And oh yeah, I actually need to go back here and fetch the oxygen. Oxygen. Please work. And now that, oh, I might have just broken our one opportunity of getting this to work. We're gonna try the other gauge dropper here. Okay, good, oxygen. That's all I needed. Then we go over to the gas export bus. Oxygen. You accepted it as liquid oxygen. Maybe you're smart and converts it. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so I fetched a rotary condensator, and I just need a point to give that guy some power, and I think we'll have the liquid we need for you to operate. Uh, hmm. Maybe I can do this, or pipette. We're gonna have to wait, aren't we? Oh, I could do that, okay. So you're no longer needed, and I'm gonna kinda set up another void tank, and we'll have infinite liquid oxygen again. So this creative fluid tank is really coming in handy. What am I looking for? Black hole tanks, I think. So we're just gonna hook that up again. I uh, guess that side would work, and then out of liquid oxygen, and you can go back here and you won't use a channel then. So clear that out so we can see that this works. Uh, extract, then insert. Perfect. So now we should be able to see the draconic energy core on the network, order up like a few, maybe four. Uh, or how many do we need? We need two here, then uh, four per here. So that's at least 10. So let's just order up uh, 10 energy cores. Good, good, good. This creative fluid tank is the real hero here. Can put some of this stuff away. Okay, so some of that arrived in the carpenter. So we can do this, it should start working. Um, yeah, we're just gonna pull that from the back and everything should kinda work here. Extract, insert, as I like to say, and end course. Okay, so that's solved. Now we could probably, let's see, set up the draconic flux uh, capacitor recipe. So first we're gonna do the other third flux capacitor. First we're gonna do the Vivern and then the Draconic. And just put that in an assembler and order up how many of these do we need? Two flux capacitors. So that might take a while. Wait, crafting 1000? Are you not receiving like, is this coal different? Wait, did it say red coal? Red coal, one coal. Red coal. Let's just cancel that. That's weird. And I see that this is working. Yeah, it's working. This is working. I would drop a bunch of tablets. And what are you waiting for? Oh, you're making enriched alloy, so this will be done in a second. Oh, here we go, I think. Are we just waiting for you? Looks like it. That might have been the last one. So, where is that? Oh, you're still kinda, you need to do more of those energy cores. So the Opinium cores, should be coming in here soon. 
we are just waiting for more red coal and that takes a while. Uh, so we're gonna start on the top half of the rainbow generator. So I think the best thing to do here might just be click that, then one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Do all of the generators and we should be able to just kind of do all of this and then see if we're missing something. Uh, so let's get rid of them as well so I don't confuse myself. Culinary. Disenchantment. That should be easy. Oh, I got rid of the wrong one. Furnace. Uh, frosty. We're not gonna use these, we just need to be able to craft them. And then finally Ender, which looks kind of easy as well. Go down to the assembler. Start putting all of those in. And okay. So can I make a top half now? Or is it gonna yell at us? Okay, so you can't do magical wood, but other than that, we're pretty darn uh, ready to make a rainbow generator, at least the top half. So magical wood, we're gonna solve that real quick. So enchanter, uh, okay, so switch over to this mode and we're just gonna take, yeah, the vanilla bookshelf with lapis down in the enchanter. So you just need to go here, right? And we can order up two top halves. See how that works. You're kind of quick. Although this recipe took quite long as a base. Okay, let's head up and take a look at the bottom half as well. I'm gonna have to find the power cell again. Uh, there we go. And the bottom half, uh, let's just do the same thing. So all of these will have to make. And this time I can put away some more stuff. Okay, now we're ready. So uh, back to crafting patterns, to the top half, then the nether star generator. That's the one that had a pretty expensive looking recipe or, you know, more expensive than default. And we need a generator, some weed rash, and we have a lot of weed rash. It's mo mostly these that kind of expensive. Then it's the overclock generator, the pink generator, the heated redstone generator, explosive. Man, we're never gonna use that. That sounds dangerous. Uh, survival. Slimy. I should make one of these uh, at least once in some playthrough because they sound kind of fun to set up. So let's just stick these in. I'm gonna stick this one up here and then kind of continue in no particular order. Kind of want another star generator here though. Yeah. And this one up here. Good. So if I order up bottom halves, we're probably gonna get some complaints. Uh, we need ender stars from uh, extended crafting generators and slime balls. Slime balls should be easy. We just need to convert back some of our uh, slime blocks here. Perfect, we got some slime. Then set up a generator from, from Draconic Evolution. That wasn't too hard. And then it's just the star. I guess we're all out of those, so I'm gonna have to set that up again. But other than that, I think we're pretty much there. So how is the Opinium course coming along? For real? Are you already? Let's just cancel this and are you bugged too? Like what are you waiting for? Are you doing stuff over here? 
that's not the one. Oh right, you're doing the fluid transposing thing and that's really slow. Maybe I want a advanced carpenter just for this one because uh, as we can see they take a long time, but uh, that's fine with me. Let's order up the opinion cores again. I think we needed like eight. So we're gonna have to make some red coal. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully that works. Okay then. So the last part is just setting this up and sticking this here. Uh, and uh, can I order up one of these? Like it's gonna complain about the star. But other than that, you're kinda on your way. Uh, we're gonna wait in this stuff. I'll set up the Ender Crafter again. And I'll be back when I have all of the stuff we need. Oh and yeah, we're gonna put these in the chest as well. So get four cells and four providers. Okay, so I ordered up a rainbow generator. It did all of the generators uh, it needed and now we're just waiting for red coal. So hopefully that's gonna be able to finish this time. Ah, I did this thing again. Let's take this out and see if I can try once more because we have so much of that red coal. It should be able to make this rainbow. Let's order that up uh, once more. What do you mean res missing red coal? Is this the wrong red coal or do I need to kind of fix that recipe? Uh, let's see. The core. Let's take out the first ear, Pathetic. I think that's the only one that actually used the red coal, Opinion Core. Uh, yeah, no more of that. So we're just gonna set this up again. Switch over here. And kind of manually insert our red coal. Maybe that will work. Hopefully it will. I think it was this one. Can remove these for now. And Rainbow Generator. Oh, it seems happy now. Oh yeah. Can I can I can I? Rainbow generator? Gonna order up another one because it needs to do some stuff. Hopefully it can finish with that soon. Look at that block though, very fancy. And it finished the other one, gonna put that in here. And let's see, extra utilities maybe? Oh, yeah, I might do this later. But I did get another reward here. Uh, do we need a wyvern? Wyvern, I can take one. If it's quick, might not be quick actually. Razor wire. Look at the tooltip of this thing, so fancy. Anyways, that's everything for this episode. A bit of a micro crafty one, but sometimes we can't escape that. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you really enjoyed the episode, you can hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, take care, and stay funky.